Today I get to try something that I've always wanted to do, and that is fly a real FPV drone. I mean, how hard can it be, right? Yes. Over the past few weeks, I've been spending time on an FPV simulator to find out whether you can learn to fly FPV on a simulator and then do it in real life. I've had about 10 hours flight time on Velocidrone, and today I get to fly my drone for the first time for real. So over the last six, seven years, I've been watching other FPV pilots fly their drones, and it's something that I've always wanted to do. Back then, there was very little information about FPV. You had to build the drones yourself, you had to program them, you had to learn how to fly them, and parts here in Switzerland were not that easy to get hold of back then. A few years ago, DJI came out with their Mavic drone, and I thought maybe this could be a good medium for now, so I got one of those. And it did scratch that itch for a little bit, but it wasn't quite the immersive experience that I was expecting it to be. But here in 2022, FPV is far more accessible. There is so much information out here on YouTube. There are both ready to fly drones, bind and fly drones, and DJI even do their own FPV system as well. I just wanna say a big thank you to the FPV community for being so open and helpful to us beginners that are trying to get into this. We don't know what we're doing and you taking the time to explain things to us is an enormous help and I cannot thank you enough. Earlier this year, I saw this video from Gene Nagata, or Potato Jet as he's known, talking about this little Cinewoop drone from Flywoo. This also paired with the DJI goggles and so I did my research and thought, maybe this is a good one for a beginner. So after ordering the drone, I knew it was gonna take a few weeks to arrive and every FPV pilot says, spend time in the simulator before you take something out in the real world. And at first I was a bit like, eh, maybe let's just see how this goes. And then after thinking about the risks involved with this, I didn't feel comfortable flying this thing, not knowing how to do it safely, end up hurting somebody and then ruining this sport for everyone else just because I wasn't very good at it. So at this stage, I didn't have my controller. So I took a PlayStation 4 controller, hooked that up to my computer and started flying with that. And the results were pretty interesting. It took me a little while to get used to it. And by the time I started to get used to the controls a little bit, I realized that I'd set up the controls in the wrong way. So I had to go back and remap those to how it would be on a normal FPV drone, which meant that I ended up learning all over again from the beginning, but this time I picked it up a little bit quicker. When my controller eventually arrived, it felt like I was starting from the beginning yet again. But after about an hour of flying with this controller, I realized that this was so much easier. I could control the drone much better than I could previously. And I started to fly a little bit better. Over the next few weeks, I was flying on the simulator when I could. Any time that I could get on there, I would put into trying to fly this drone around this track. After doing this, I started to try different tracks, including this car park level, which was incredible for training. And I think once you get the basic controls of the drone, you should definitely do this one. I was racing against myself, my ghost, which, you know, I still crashed a lot, but I was so focused on making it to the end rather than just what I needed to do with the controller. So it was starting to sink in and I was starting to get good at this. Well, good for a beginner. After this, I found the Bando level and rather than racing through the track on this, I started to have fun flying FPV rather than trying to get to the end of a racetrack or trying to learn skills. I got to play around with it a lot more. I started to hit gaps. I started to do things I would probably never do with a real life drone. It was so much more fun. So this kind of opened me up to that freestyle element of FPV. So whilst I was playing around on that level, I hit my 10 hours and that brings us to today. So let's go outside and see what this is like to fly for real. So this is it. After that training on the simulator, I'm gonna take my first test flight. We've come to this area here because it's wide open. There's no people around. We've been to a couple of areas already today, but there's too many people around. I don't know what the drone is gonna do or have I set this up right or anything like that. So I'm hoping with everything that I've learned on YouTube, I've managed to set this up correctly and then we can just fly and I'll be an expert the first time I take off. Take two, hopefully, with the props the right way round. Oh. 
So I'm going to give you a bit of running commentary because I completely forgot to talk while I was doing this. I was so busy concentrating on the controls. But it felt so natural after using the simulator. It was very, very similar. This is so much fun. So right now I was trying to get used to just flying the drone around, um, seeing how the physics would react to my stick inputs as well. Should I try a flip? No. <laughs> Ready? I'm oh, really hurt. Am I good? Yep. Yeah? Yep, yep, go. Got a barrel roll. Baby tree. Oh my god, that's so cool. Okay, bring her home. Bring her home? Yep. I've only been out there for like... Yeah, I know, but I just want you to land it. I don't know why I keep looking with my head, like I can turn the camera on the thing. Oh my god, I can see myself, it's so weird. Please don't crash into me. Okay, how are you going to land it? I'm going to land it back in front of us. It was at this point I realised that I hadn't learned how to land in the simulator. Yes! That was, that was a neat landing. Flight of the Bumblebee take two. Uh, I'm just going to use up the rest of this battery. And then maybe we've got another one. That was more like a giant circle, but yeah. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Like a... A loop to a loop. A loop, yeah. rather than a... And check this out, ready? Whee! Oh yeah, that was a flip. That was cool, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm not going to do it in front of you. No, 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 no. <laughs> Please don't No, 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 I mean like... I mean, uh, what, you want me to video it? No, um, no, no, I'm just oh, going to... Okay. I'm going to come in and watch us. Uh, you lost a propeller. Did I? Yeah. Damn it. Oh, look, I can see the... Uh, Grass. Uh, good luck, me? good luck finding that. <laughs> this is so good. This is so much better than I thought it was going to be. I've got grass in there now. When do I get a go? When you've done like hours on the simulator too. That's <laughs> worth it for your reaction then. So first flight of the drone outside of a simulator and I think that this just goes to show that actually yes you can fly one of these just by learning on a simulator and I'm kind of glad I did because this thing moves so much faster than I thought it was going to. It's so much fun though, it's so much fun. I'm going to fly this around a bit more, I'm going to switch the battery out, take it for another little flight, hopefully don't break it this time or go you know, a little too crazy. So unfortunately, because I spent so much time getting B-roll on that day, we didn't actually get to use the second battery. Still buzzing with excitement from that first flight, I got up early, went out to a park, and went to see if that first flight was just beginner's luck or I could actually fly this thing. This park was a lot smaller, so I had to be more careful with the throttle. This would hopefully help me to kind of fine tune some of those skills that I've learned in Velocidrone. And it even had some trees and things that I could fly around in to kind of start looking at more precision type flying. I say precision, but we're talking beginner precision here. So after flying around for a bit, getting the feel of the drone in tighter spaces, making some tighter cornering maneuvers, that type of thing, and testing out how agile I can be with the controls, I thought, screw it, let's just see if we can hit a gap. And as you can see, I was so excited that it worked that I forgot to keep the drone in the air so it bounced off the floor. As amazing as that was, it didn't always go so well after that. It's probably worth noting that I learned and I'm flying this in full acro mode. And I only really know that because I saw a video after these flights talking about horizon and angle modes and I had no idea what those were. And it probably would have been easier to learn in some of those instead. On a side note, since filming this video, I've tried both angle and horizon modes, and I actually find them harder to fly in. Most probably because I can't predict what the drone is going to do when it levels out automatically. So I guess I'll stick with full acro mode. I don't know whether that's normal or not, but that's what I've learned to fly in and that's what I'm going to use. So there you have it. That was my first experience of flying an FPV drone. I'm filming this part of the video a little bit later than those first two flights and I really, really enjoy it. I've been out so much flying around 
in different places. My drone is getting a little bit bashed up. In fact, hang on, let me see if I can get this in focus. I'm trashing the drone a little bit, but it seems to be holding up pretty well. I've actually got a whole load of spare parts now from Flywoo as well. I've even got my little uh, peanut cam or for the Insta360 Go. Uh, there is another video coming on this very shortly. So I totally get the excitement around FPV drones and what you can do with them. And I can't wait to fly more. I'm still a beginner. So if there's anything you wanna know about getting into FPV, I'm not an expert, but if you leave a comment below, I'm sure that other FPV pilots will help out in the comments as well. As I said, the community around this is so amazing. Um, and I cannot thank you guys enough for helping me out. Thank you guys so much for watching my first FPV experience. If you have done something like this as well and you've put it up on YouTube, please let me know in the comments below and I'll come and check out your content too. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.